Welcome to the Korean Report, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. Woo. Starting already, man. I'm starting already. I'm in my bag, man. I'm in my bag. Y'all know how many Elder gonna do in the Kareem and Elder show. It's gonna be crazy. But this is a, uh, a trade pre uh, prediction. Um, I think that definitely gonna be a possibility that can happen. Because we have to look at it like this, guys. We have to think about this. For one, think about these two teams. Let's start with Memphis. John Morant, two gun cases, they can't take it. Like, then they felt the way about Dylan Brooks. They want to change their image. They're going to try to move off of him. I predicted that they're going to try to move off John Morant. And um, they're going to fight quietly and see what they probably could get for John Morant. And um, the Sixers, after the tough loss like that, man, that, that was a heartbreaking loss. They shouldn't have lost that game. A B should have closed it in game six. A B uh, choked. He didn't do anything in the last two games, six or seven at home and then on the road so it was bad so B really played horrible and the Sixers need a closer they need a closer so um, they're going to shake things up they're going to shake things up it's a big city uh, they, it, it, they can't get out the second round a B will be 29 so and it, it, then you put factor in his health I think they're going to try to make a, a big splash so I'm predicting this. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out to my, my, my son. My son definitely um, uh, talked about this. And, and he, he was like, yo, the temperature of the team, they're gonna uh, break things up. So I, I see that John Morant and Steven Adams for Tobias Harris and Tyrese Maxey and um, my first round pick um, out of Philadelphia. I think that John Morant's stock went down He's still a superstar. Teams will be lined up to get them, get him. But you have to look at it like this. Um, Maxie is a young point guard that got a tremendous, tremendous work ethic. Um, Memphis, you don't have, they wouldn't have to worry about anything with him as far as any trouble, anything like that. I mean, he he is the person you will love on your team. He work hard. He, he loves basketball, basketball junkie. And he's, he's produced. He's going to give you at least 22 points a night, especially with a team like Memphis. He can get you about 22 a night. And then Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris is going to get you 18 every night. So they, they add some depth, um, get a little more scoring on the wings, what they struggle at. Uh, so I definitely, you know, and Tobias Harris on the last year's contract. So that would work perfect by him being on last year's contract. And then um, Steven Adams got two years left. So that would be a way to get off Stephen Adams' contract. Memphis will be getting off Stephen Adams' contract. Um, he got uh, two years left, getting um, 12.6 uh, this coming year. So um, I think that would be a win for both teams. Um, Philadelphia had to do something. They're going to have to um, make some changes. And, and Memphis definitely got to make some changes. So I definitely think that that would be an excellent trade for both teams. Like I said, Maxi Young, he's not as good as John Morant. But you, you're you going to make up the score with uh, Maxi and and Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris, like I said, on his last year deal, they could keep him for this year, then re-sign him for much cheaper, you know, much cheaper rates. So he, Tobias Harris, I think, is 28, 29 years old. He's not old. So um, tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.